All right, good evening, everybody. Uh, you know, we're back on Zoom, the gift that just keeps on giving. But, uh, no, it was, uh, it was a good scrimmage tonight. You know, we got um, probably a little over 100 plays. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of different guys, personnel, you know, groupings offensively, defensively. Um, you know, I thought the defense came out, you know, started extremely strong. Um, you know, in the scrimmage, you saw guys flying around, you know, playing fast, making plays. Um, offense, I thought, responded well as as it uh, continued to go through. But you know, we got to continue to push our tempo offensively. Uh, that's something you know, in a, in a first scrimmage, you know, coaches are off the field playing it like a game, and you know, definitely something that uh, we've got to we've got to get better at. Um, like I said, we're, we're being able to see a, a, a lot of different guys. Uh, you'll get some, some guys getting their first reps here at uh, at Florida State, and um, you know, I thought it was thought it was a really good evaluation. Um, you know, we had some some good plays of guys. You know, you know, breaking tackles. You know, Jaheim Bell had a, had a really really impressive kind of sequence of um, making guys miss. Um, you know, we. You know, Obviously, you've seen it. You've seen it on film, but to, to be able to see him, uh, you know, you're live in a person was uh, was definitely impressive. Um, you know, I thought defensively, you know, the defensive front did a really good job of, uh, of working to create pressure. You know, trying to uh, I thought our I thought our fits in the run game uh, were good for the most part. Did have a couple missed tackles out on the perimeter. Um, you know, things that we got to got to get back better at. I thought we got some some really good special teams work uh, in in that evaluation. You know, we made that that transition. You know, a year ago to really get more. Um, more live work, you know, in our scrimmages just to see, uh, you know, all four units. And, you know, there were some things that were really good and, and obviously some things that we're going to have to clean up, uh, but, you know, kind of give a, a good baseline of, of where we are at this moment. Um, you know, heading into this week, you know, there's going to be, you know, always, there's always going to be movement after, you know, after a scrimmage. And we have, it was our ninth practice, uh, you know, guys have, are, uh, you know, Showing up, and you know the, the the thing that we're looking for is just the consistency. And uh, you, know, you know, a lot of talented players, uh, you know, newcomers, you know, guys that are that are pushing for uh, for spots and opportunities. But we got to see the consistency, um, you know, in in the execution. And so, um, you know, I thought, like I said, all in all, it was a it was a it was a good good day. I was really you know proud of the defense. We had you know, uh, I can't remember first second group uh, got down you know to the one yard line, had a big fourth down stand, um, you know, on the goal line. It was a it was something that you know we've really emphasized just the, the mentality you know if we ever find ourselves down in that situation and you know I thought they rose up uh, rose to the occasion and um, you know the next drive it, the offense got back down there was able to punch it in you know obviously need to need to do that each time uh, but you know to see the the, the the give and take on on both sides of the ball um, you know Quarterbacks, you know, I'll get to go back and really, really watch more of it. You know, anytime, you, anytime you're up rup in multiple guys, um, you know, I thought there was, I thought there were some good things, you know, from from each one of them. Um, you know, I had to kind of a couple of them go live, you know, for, for a handful of series, and you know, it was good to see you see them have to go out and, and operate. But um, you know, all in all, I thought it was a, a productive night, and you know, a lot of good film to be able to to correct on tomorrow and and work to get better here this week. I know you guys compete um, a good bit. You compete a lot in practice, but not always necessarily like putting together drives um, and, and kind of worrying so much about the result of a drive or scoring or not scoring. Uh, do you see some of the – does competition raise to an even higher level in these kind of settings compared to a normal practice? Yeah, it has to. And, uh, you know, ultimately that's the – You know, now you want to see the – the application of situation and where, you know, a coach can, you know, it will work some series during practice and, you know, try to force that, but, you know, understanding the situation that you're in throughout the course of a series, um, you know, you know, rather than saying, Hey, you know, we're working third downs here, you know, now it's as, as a drive's going on, you've got to be able to play the game, you know, throughout you know, in those situations. And, um, you know, that was something that, you know, I thought was good for our guys. There was, there was some, like I said, that's, that's part of the, you know the urgency of what we need to improve on. You know, just in our tempo of, of understanding the situations. Um, but and then you know, obviously being able to tackle. You know, that's that's. Uh, uh, you know, we had we had everybody rolling, and you know, that we didn't have. Uh, you know, you know, many guys that were in, in in tag mode. You know, I thought it was good to see. You know, running backs were running hard. Um, you know, they were trying to trying to fight for the extra extra yards. Seeing guys, you know, have to go to the ground, and then some guys that. Um, you know, were very difficult to get to the ground. So, uh, you know, I thought that was a, a good part of what we what we were able to do. Um, and it's, you know, it's a good, 
you know, I guess a foundational level of seeing the, the first live action for some of these guys, uh, just where they are and things they need to improve on. So, um, you know, it was it was definitely a raised intensity, and it needs to be any time, especially if we go in, inside Doe Campbell. Hey Mike, I'm curious to get your thoughts on how Brock Glenn performed today. And I figure it was 20 something practices now for him and his, his career. Just because how has he progressed in, in that span since he got to campus? I mean, he's, he's a very impressive freshman. You know, just his maturity. Um, you know, even I know we talked about it in the spring where, you know, the moment never seems too big for him. And, you know, he was live for some from series tonight and uh, did some good things. I mean, he, I thought he you know, handled the good and, and, uh, um, you know, responded to the to the negative plays. I mean, because he had he had some of those too. And um, but you know, he is he, he's always listening, always trying to learn, trying to apply. Uh, but he's you know he's an instinctual player. And um, you know, I thought he did a did a great job. You know, you know throughout the course of the evening. Um, you know, I, I haven't like I said, I got to go back and watch all of it to give you a you know kind of a full full breakdown of it. But I mean, he's he definitely doesn't act like a freshman. And um, you know, for what we what we thought we were getting I mean he's probably further along than um, you know we, we knew we were getting a really good quarterback but you know just his mental maturity and you know the way that grasp you know so th so many things offensively um, and just his presence out there is, is really good Hey, Mike, we've seen uh, a lot of the freshman DBs come in and really uh, make some plays, handle themselves well out on the practice field. How did you see that translate over into tonight? That was good. I mean, those guys, those are, it's a very competitive group. And, I mean, they're talented. You know, they've got, um, you know, great athleticism, you know, you know, Playmaking skills. I mean, uh, tonight, I uh, don't believe we had any, any uh, you know, takeaways tonight, you know, as a defense, um, you know, which – is something that you know offensively been harping, harping on, and so it's a good thing for the for the offense. But you know something defensively, we want to we want to make you know, uh, make those impactful plays. But uh, you know our guys, I mean they were they were sticky in their coverage. Uh, you know I think you see those guys trying to um, you know communicate better. They were they were in the right position for most of the night. You know there were some some opportunities in, on tackles that we got to be a little cleaner on uh, on, which is what we needed to see from. Uh, exactly where those guys are, but I mean it's a it's an impressive group. So uh, I think they're they're continuing to, to to play at a high level, especially for being young freshmen. And I think a lot of those guys have an opportunity to, to uh, contribute here this year at some point. Yeah, coach. Um, we got to see um, Keon Cole and um, Kyle Morlock and um, some of the new um, transfers um, get more. Um, Acclimated to the FSU practices. Um, how was their first live action? Well, uh, you know, it was uh, it was good. I mean, you've seen you know, we we we've got a pretty good sense in eight practice before this. You know, in the last eight practices, you know who those guys are. Obviously, Kyle was was here in the spring. I thought Kyle had a great night tonight. You know, made some tough catches. Um, you, know, you know, really did some good things for us. Um, you know, I think he's going to be a, a great weapon. Um, you know, I think that whole that. Newcomer group, especially the off, you know, some of the offensive skill guys, um, really are, are gonna gonna help w what we're able to do. And just uh, we got you know, a lot of playmakers, you know, guys that are learning the offense. They're very smart players, uh, so it's gonna be able to you know give us quite a bit of versatility in how we want to attack. And um, you know, they're continuing to continue to get better. I mean, this is gonna be a huge week ahead for for our football team, especially for all those guys to be able to look back at the last nine practices and then. You know, we got to have a have a great week in uh, in, in our progression as we uh, as we continue to to move forward. Hey, Mike, the offensive line. How did they do this evening? And also, as you turn towards the tenth practice on Tuesday, how much do you start working towards figuring out your starting five, the next group, kind of how they're going to fit together as a group? Yeah, I, mean, I think that's all. You know, as we get through this next week, you know, we're still going to you know, probably work to to mix and match. I, I usually like getting you know two weeks of of a pretty good sense of what that that first five is going to be. Um, you know, we got a lot of competition. You know, guys that uh, uh, we've had a couple guys that have been out. Um, you are very limited. Um, you know, in in what we're doing. That you know they practice early. You know, if you've got some good work in, uh, you're trying to. Do a little bit of maintenance with them, and then uh, you know we'll we'll get them back here this week. So. Um, you know, I think I think the O line did a, a solid job tonight. You know, once again, I, I got to go and and watch the film, but I thought uh, you know 
their overall understanding of what we're asking them to do is really good. You know, we've got to continue to, to work the fundamentals and just the, the finer details versus versus different looks and, you know, making sure that we do have five guys playing as one and, uh, you know, being able to take as much pressure off of, uh, you know, the guys around them by, by just executing our jobs. And uh, But I, I have been pleased with that group, and I thought tonight was uh, was some solid work. But, you know, there's some, some details and, and fundamental things that we're going to have to get better at. And, you know, we'll still, like I said, we'll mix and match this week, but I know we're going to get a couple guys back that, you know, really be able to kind of put on display that that full group and um, and then we'll, we'll move forward as we uh, as we get through that second second scrimmage uh, since Trey and LT have, have played so much college football did you focus a little bit more on the other running backs and either way how, how did those guys do no I mean they, they got they were limited in their in their rep count, you know, because of because of just you know, their overall experience. Um, but you know, I thought uh, Rodney Hill did some really good things. Uh, you know, Kazai Holmes, I mean, had a, had a couple of really big plays. I mean, he had you know he got an open field. Uh, you see his speed, his toughness, physicality. You know, caught the ball uh, out of the backfield as well. I thought I thought he really showed up well, well today. Uh, C.J. Campbell had a really couple of nice plays as well. So um, you know, it's uh, I feel I feel good about that running back room. And uh, you know, we got you know you know. Five guys that I feel are, are very very capable. You know, bringing along you know Sam Singleton. You know he was uh, he was limited tonight, uh, but uh, you know got to get him back at, get get him back rolling and uh, you know be able to keep evaluating to see where he's you know where he's going to be. A very talented young man, but uh, you know I really I feel good about that that running back room and um, you know we wanted to we wanted to get them some good work tonight and uh, I thought they thought they showed up well. You talked about the the defensive front's impact and the goal line stand. I guess who, at first glance, watching it live from that defensive line group, uh, flashed at you tonight? You know, I mean, it's it was collect. I mean, Josh Farmer, I think, has has had a really good camp. You had a couple a couple of really nice plays there early. Um, you know, I think Pat Payton's had had a you know he was he was uh, you know. We had him on a on a on a number count today because really wanted to see Gilbert and, and uh, you know Byron get out there and play and uh, you know I thought those guys you know both flashed uh, you know really solid I think that interior defensive defensive tackle group um, you know has got a chance to be a great strength and um, you know as they as they get out there and roll I think we're gonna be able to keep guys fresh I think that uh, you know we got some some very impactful players that um, you know but I once again I was, when you get down into the core in the trenches you know it's uh, one of the things we go back and watch film and see just the consistency of that execution but. But you know, definitely some great flashes. I'm going to go with a good old two parter here. First, you said special teams was live. What have you learned about punt return for you guys? And secondly, I think this scrimmage last year, you guys got pretty banged up in it, if I recall. How did you come out tonight initially feeling about the health of the team? No, it was good. I mean, there was a couple, there were a couple guys that, uh, you know, I don't think anything serious, but I mean, just, you know, a couple, couple things. Um, you know that showed up, but I, I don't think those would be you know, very extensive. Um, but um, definitely much better night tonight than we were a year ago, and so uh, I thought it was good to overall health. Um, and then you know when it, with the punt returner, you know really Keon Coleman's getting a lot of work back there. I think he, you know, he, I think there's you know one ball, just a judgment that you know got to continue to uh, to yeah. emphasize and work. Uh, you know, uh, you know. Dustin Hill, you know, got got good work. I think he was he was he was pretty clean tonight. You know, Vendravius got got back there a little bit. So uh, we got a, we got a uh, LT. You know, was was clean in what he did. Um, so continuing to work a lot of those guys. I mean, very you know, some guys that are explosive players, but also got to have really good hands and just working the decision making process. Um, you know, as we, as we continue to roll through it. But I, I feel very confident in what that group's going to be. Uh, staying on on special teams, you, we've we've asked a lot about the kickers. I think they've both been good in practice. I, you talk about valuing everybody, kind of what they show you in the scrimmage, maybe more than a practice. That apply even maybe to another level when it comes to a kicker. And how were those guys tonight? Well, I mean, they they were good. I mean, we were uh, we did a good job on on majority of our kicks. There we had a, you know, a couple. You know, long yardage, you know, long long yardage kicks. I know we missed one uh, that was you know, over fifty, but. Uh, um, you know, it was yeah. You know, those guys have competed, and I, I think the competition is making both of them better. I think they're uh, you know they're they're continuing to push each other, and you know we're we're charting all things, and so uh, you know I think we're we're in a really good situation. Um, you know, at our at our you know, kicky at kicker and 
you know, uh, obviously with our kickoffs, uh, I think they're very talented with that too. So, you know, just uh, how they're how they're operating and, and you know, working together. There was a decent num decent number of guys that this was their first chance to really play a scrimmage situation inside Doak. Anything stand out, you know, positive or negatively about how those guys handled that first time? No, I mean, I, I thought they all came they, they came and worked. I mean, it was a uh, there was excitement before you know throughout the course of the day. I mean, the you, know, you always want there to be energy. Um, you know, but one of the things I really liked throughout the scrimmage was the sidelines, and you know, it, whether it's you know you work, you're working you know, three different groups, you know, getting reps, and you know, even when it was the twos or the threes, I mean, you got you know, looking over defensive sideline, you got T Kalen Deloach is, I mean, out there, I mean, in, in, I mean, and there's so many guys defensively, but you know, guys encouraging. You listen on the offensive. Uh, uh, sideline even when there was you know maybe a negative play just the you know guys that are trying to pick up each other they're trying to you know help you know understand what that needs to be on game day um, but yeah I mean anytime you get to, to step in Doak Campbell at night you know, it's it was pretty special and uh, you know so it was good to good for guys to be able to get that moment and uh, you know I know there were some um, probably some nerves for some of them but uh, you know once you get out there and you start playing ball it's uh, you know th those those have to go away and then it comes down to the execution so um, you know, like I said, it was a it was a, a needed first scrimmage. It was time. You know, I mean, our guys have been practicing their butt off for eight practices, and you know, we needed tonight to see you know really you know where we are and and uh, the big big area of focus of of improvement. And you know, we know that with our tempo, with our, our uh, you know the, the details of execution. I mean, those things are are uh, you know big factors that that we're going to have to get better at here this week. And uh, you know, I know our guys will take note and um, you know work to improve that. And we'll be back out there on the field on uh, on Tuesday. Thank you guys. Y'all have a great night.